All right, so today in the garage we have this Kubota L3200, and uh, I am switching it from a pin-on uh, pin-on loader to a quick disconnect loader. When we bought this brand new in 2013, we should have went with the quick disconnect right off the bat, but we didn't because we didn't see we had no we just didn't see that we were going to need it, so we got just the pin-on bucket because it was like $400 cheaper. Here we are later. I bought the uh, the actual quick disconnect from Kubota. Here it is right here. Um, Kubota part. And uh, Messick's had it online for $9.90. And I went to the Kubota dealer that we bought the tractor off of initially. And they sold it to me. They had to order it. And it was like $5.60 uh, plus almost $200 shipping, so $720 um, all together out the door just for that. So um, what I'm going to do today is go ahead and mount that, take the pins off, and uh, you'll, you'll at least get to see um, you know, how much of a pain in the butt it is or how much it isn't. Um, go ahead and get started. Okay, 10 millimeter top and bottom. This is a brass hammer, brass... Uh, we're not mar the surface. Bottom pin is out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the top out. All right, and the bucket is disconnected. I'm going to go ahead and move it to right here. I'm going to roll the bucket out of the way now. Clean these, uh, clean the grease off of these, and then we'll put the new quick attach on. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and install this. I'm going to just let the uh, let the boom or the uh, loader down to the quick disconnect. I was greasing this at one point in time and uh, it broke the grease zerk off so I'm gonna take this to work drill it tap it and install a new uh, grease zerk I believe this is a press in grease zerk okay so uh, the old zerk fitting was pressed in I had to drill it out I used a 730 seconds drill bit and tapped a quarter 28 thread uh, zerk fitting right back in there. So now we can reassemble this other side and go ahead and hook up the pallet forks. Uh, so I'll install this and we'll get back to it. Okay, so everything's greased, uh, everything's installed. Now I just gotta work on this bucket to put that uh, quick attach mounting plate on the bucket. That'll be my next video. Um, simple video, I mean, it's easy to change. Uh, I hope this video helps you. If it does, please subscribe to my channel because it helps me and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.